Welcome to Hometown Homepages, the series where we give small business websites a much needed facelift using my favorite website builder, Webflow. I'm Maddie, and in this season, we're making over homepages from my town, Littleton, Colorado. This is episode five, Graceful Cafe. This cafe is really cool because their mission is to employ and serve people experiencing homelessness. They call this Grace in Action, and they actually serve 50 to 60 free meals a day, which is half of the total meals that they serve every day on average. The meals are super simple and it's always a very limited menu, but everything I've gotten there has been really yummy. During my research, this site performed the best by far out of all six sites in this series. But I still think there is a lot we can do to really push it creatively, make the mission more clear and concise, and bring the food a bit more front and center. Here are some inspo images that I grabbed. Um, I think that this is really nice, but it's kind of similar to what we did in the previous episode. So I want to do something a bit different. I think I want to make it a little bit more hand done. Um, the last one that we did, if you missed it, it was really grid-like um, and there were a lot of straight lines. And I think I want to go the opposite direction with this. So this is really speaking to me. I like the colors and I like the idea of having like big um, handwritten text somewhere. And then I also pulled this because I like this shape a lot. I feel like this could be something fun to play around with. And I like this typography, but I don't know if we'll do anything similar to that or not. Um, but yeah, let's get designing. Okay, first I'm just gonna put together the nav bar here. And for once, I actually really like their logo. Um, I think, you know, it could be better in terms of what it communicates. It doesn't really say cafe to me. Um, but at the same time, I think that since they're a well-established sort of like philanthropic group in the area, I don't wanna recommend that they change their logo. I think it's working well for what it is. So like I said, I really like this shape. So I'm just gonna play around with that for the button. And then maybe we'll use this shape too as sort of a um, frame for an image that we'll drop in later. a bunch of shapes on my iPad in this paintbrush um, yellow color. I wrote meals so we can give a stat of like how many free meals they've given as well as hours volunteered. And then these shapes I feel like will come in handy later on in the design. I'm actually going to try adding a thin stroke which is something as a designer that I used to really not like to do, but honestly, I think when done right, it can look really nice. And maybe just a nice drop shadow as well um, would give it a little bit more visual interest. Now, I'm just adding a bit of a gallery because community is so important to them, and I wanna also showcase some more food images. And then I'll just layer on top some of these illustrations to kind of bring the design language throughout the whole page. All right, and now a simple footer. This is looking really good. I'm actually super happy with this. I love the colors. I think it feels really warm and comfortable, like a gathering place. Um, and it says food, but it also says community. So I think this works really well. I think this build's actually gonna be fairly easy um, because the layout is simple. It's just gonna be a lot of layered text and image. Um, but I haven't ever styled text with like an outline and a shadow before in Webflow. Um, and same with like the buttons with the shadow. So yeah, I think that this will be interesting. 
So we are using a font that um, is not already inside Webflow. So I'll show you guys quickly how to add a font. You go to add fonts, it's gonna take you here and you can first search for the font that you want in Google Fonts. The one I'm looking for is called Carla and it is a Google font. So now I am just going to check off all of the different variants that I need. So I'll just kind of hop back into Figma and see if I need regular weight, bold weight, um, and all of that. And just give myself more than enough. I don't need any italics, so that should be fine. And then if we go back over here and refresh, then we have Carla in this list here. So it's pretty easy. As you can see, you can also upload font files and it'll work the same. And if you're using something that's from Adobe Fonts, as long as you have an Adobe Fonts account, you have an API token in your settings and you just copy and paste that in and then choose whatever project the font is inside. Um, and it'll show up just the same. So with this button, all I really did was first give it a border and then manipulated the radius. So on opposite corners, I gave it a 20 pixel radius. So that gives it this nice shape. And then I gave it a drop shadow. It's called box shadow here in Webflow. So I gave it a distance of three, which means that at this angle, um, it kind of moves away from the button by three pixels. I got rid of the blur completely so that it's just like a flat shadow. And then I made the shadow this darker green color. up I couldn't figure out how to add a stroke onto text um, and if there's a way to do that and you know definitely let me know in the comments but I'm not seeing that ability here um, so instead what I did was I actually gave it four different shadows one from a zero degree angle another one from 180 and then from both of the sides as well um, and I just made it no blur, one pixel distance. So all four of those shadows together kind of make up like an outer stroke, if that makes sense. So maybe that's kind of hacky, but honestly, because I'm only using this for one style of text, I think it's gonna work perfectly fine. So if you ever need to do that, there's a tip. And here is the final result. I think this site turned out so, so good. I am really happy with it and I learned how to do a lot of new stuff in Webflow, which is pretty cool. So if you want to try Webflow out yourself, then there is a link down in the description box below. Make sure to check out the prior episodes if you enjoyed this. And next week, we're going to be doing the very last homepage makeover for a chocolate shop. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you guys then. Bye!